The Fragility of Ambition. A rather melodramatic title in itself, yet quite ironic. Because to be frank, I don't have a clue what I'm doing anymore. In fact, I used to feel that ambition, direction, purpose and aims were four values which used to feel a lot to me. They used to mean a lot to me. And yet recently, I've lost sight of all four. And in that process, I've stopped knowing what I want from life. What do I want from myself? And what makes me smile? Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, that's what we go away with. Now, it wasn't always like this, you see. Look at this. That is eight-year-old me. And eight-year-old me definitely knew what he wanted. He wanted to go to the London 2012 Olympic Games and watch Usain Bolt run like the flash across his court. He wanted to then go watch his badminton idol, Saina Nirvan, win India's first women's singles medal. I mean, even much later on down the line, at this point, where I'm 18, I definitely knew what I wanted. I wanted to party, I wanted to dance the night away, and I wanted to feel everything that I hadn't for 18 years. I wanted to travel, and I wanted to go to Lithuania on a nine pound ticket. And then all in between that, I wanted to be an engineer in hopes of one day becoming an astronaut. Now as life does, it all just gets you completely lost. And I found myself too daunted by the task ahead. Now I'm not saying that at 20, even now, I want to solve life's mysteries. But I had certain expectations of myself. I wanted to know what I wanted, right? I couldn't figure it out. And it led me to where I am now. Now, you see, the thing is, my issue was that I wasn't letting myself forgive my past mistakes. And as everything crumbled, I took the weight with me. My mother, who is my idol, she has gone through such hardships in life. She has lost so much, lost so much in her personal life, lost so much in her professional life. There's been grief that I hope nobody has to ever endure. And yet she's always fought on. Even now, in the space that she is, battling an illness which has taken so much from my family, she continues to strive. And I can only say that you've got to look at her and what she does for the very core of it. It's not the fact that your aims have been taken away from you, but it's the fact that you can recalibrate your ambition. You can set your goals again, and you can go again. And I'm sure that when she's fit, she's fighting and she's healthy, she's going to achieve everything that she wants to. Now on that topic, I also do want to address something. I have never been one of those feely touchy types. My emotions have always been weird, and I've never appreciated my, appreciated my family for who they are to me. So I thought, what better a stage to start than my own TEDx speech and my own talk in front of an audience? Now, I want everyone in this audience to just take a moment. A moment to who you feel appreciative for. Take a moment for gratitude, because I realize that ambition without appreciation, it's a hollow victory. So I'm going to address my parents in Hindi now. And for that moment, and for those seconds, just think. Ma, ba, dani. I don't know what you want to do, 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 but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I miss you. I miss all the times that we have, I miss all the things that we do. We that the cooking or the drone flying out. I love you and I will spend a lot more time with you and I'll make this up to you. <sighs> Anyways, enough of this emotional stuff. You guys didn't come here for that. But I will tell you, gratitude and ambition, they have to go hand in hand. Without one, the other just feels imbalanced. Now for me, right, my ambition, as I said, is to become an astronaut. I want to grace the International Space Station with my humble presence. Now, to be blunt, I'm five foot seven, two PhDs, and an American citizenship short of going anywhere near an astronautics degree, never mind reaching the space station. I mean, I think to myself, to be quite honest with you, that I'm just going to run along to management, drop engineering, go into finance, make money. I can make money. Maybe that's what life is about. <laughs> but whatever my purpose is, be that reaching to the stars quite literally, or making a hard cold stack of cash.
I know that I will figure it out. Because you've got to realize that whilst ambition may be fragile, the human spirit definitely isn't. And we'll figure out, we'll figure out what we're trying to do one way or another. So listen, as me and my friends say, Papar Belo Zindagi Gio. Wait, not quite. Papar Belo Zindagi Kilo. Now what does that mean? That means don't take life too seriously, right? It's not worth it. And don't take yourself too unseriously. Because you have it inside of you to figure out what you need. And it'll just it'll fall into place. So guys, I am sure of the dancing at all. And this was the fragility of ambition. Thank you.